police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. 
Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Come in, 8-2. Dispatch, Delta 4-4. Four, four. Can you raise Delta 8-2? Stand by, 4-4. Four, four. Delta 8-2. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, report. Delta 4-4. Four, four. No response from 8-2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8-2. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted.
some things we should discuss, but we can attend to them when you're finished. Assuming you can finish. I'm upping the stakes, Batman, just like I promised. Tread carefully. Oh boy! You sure showed that great who's in charge. No match for you. Interesting. Watching you figure that one out was a real treat. I'll make sure the next one is even more provocative. This isn't a game, Enigma. Oh, but it is. And one you're more than welcome to stop playing. Now you need to stop interfering with my work. Tackling these towers is one thing, but... My handlers, my data, my network relays, those aren't meant for you, so back off! Unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. That's who we're looking for!
that? Yeah, probably another water pipe. I'll we'll have to go take a look, but you know, my ship's open. Loeb. Loeb understood. The problem is Gordon ain't a keen player. Yeah, how do you expect us to survive on a cop's salary? Somebody ought to lay boots to him. Show him how we do things in Gotham. Sign me up for that. This won't be easy, but if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Man, I, I hate the homeless. Oh, oh, yeah! Right in the jaw! It's the back! Call it! Oh. able to access doors like this with my cryptographic sequencer. I'll need to find another way. Stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Hi, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup crew at Blackgate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the fat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars. For those of you who ain't too good with the math, that means we all retire. Nice. That's what I'm talking about! Let's take him down, then. Yeah. What are we waiting for? Enough! I need to silently take down that guard in order to move on.
will be accepting donations and cards for Commissioner Love's family in the break room. Please come by and pay your respects. So what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like... Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs. They got it in evidence lockup. How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win. It it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks. All right, now you gotta let me go. How'd that work out for you last time? <laughs> 